Welcome back everyone to another upload. Now I am currently doing a meat run. There's a few things I want to explain. It's going to take five minutes. Um, so if you don't want to hear me moan in some parts and you don't want to hear me updating you all, um, skip five minutes straight to the base tour and you could just see the improvements to the base and what we have been doing for the past 25 days. Which in fact is how long I have been inactive on YouTube and there is a specific reason for that. Uh, which I'm going to get down to. The first week of us, me, me not uploading and me being completely dead silent and quiet um, we was grinding a massive change to the whole base as a whole and that took a lot of hard hours and work. Uh, there's three members in the tribe that stay on during the day and three members of the tribe that come on during the night to make sure it's okay. Um, as considering that I'm EU and American time zones and stuff. Um, and then the second week we took two to three days out of that second week um, it's a break and we all decided just to come on for two or three days just to check the troughs, the generators um, and then as for demotivation as we were demotivated we then decided after two to three days we needed to get our motivation back so we started doing boss fights um, as doing those boss fights uh, which we can run beta very very smoothly now um, I knew it would only be after the first or second try that we'd be able to smash him completely nailing them, getting that element so we can actually power um, as we're not on electricals anymore. So that is all good. And then the third week um, we were literally doing AVV bullet grinds. Um, one of the things that were brought to my attention as recording the previous uploads is there was no bullets in one of the turrets, which I felt absolutely embarrassed. Um, not putting it on any of my tribe members, that's 100% my fault. I should have checked the turrets personally as the leader. Uh, so I made sure that was my priority, got my head switched on and did, did nothing but ADV grind. Uh, so I'm taking full responsibility for that and making sure that the whole tribe is safe and that we are safe and all of our loot is protected. So that is pretty much where we, I have been dead quiet for three weeks, up to nearly four weeks now, a month. So that is letting you guys know where I have been. Um, it's also been brought to my attention a few negative comments to my channel. Uh, I'm not insanely big or anything, and I'm not massive on YouTube at all. But I am a total in control of my own channel. So I have thought of an idea of where I'm going to be removing all the negative comments. Because I react in a certain way to those negative comments. That puts this tribe in danger a lot. Um, and I need to stop doing that. Some people when they play ARK, they do, in some tribes, they do take this game really, really seriously. Um, I'm not saying I don't take it seriously, but there's a point to where you've got to realise that it is literally just a game. And I started doing YouTube for one reason, and that was specifically because I love playing ARK and I love uploading it. Uh, I didn't sign up for YouTube for all this, all this terrorism or, you know, like, constant negative comments uh, obviously if anything changes in the future where YouTube, my YouTube channel actually does shoot off I'll say that it will but if it takes that course and I cannot control my YouTube, my comment section anymore on my channel then there's nothing really I can do about that I'm just going to have to let it take its course but for the moment I'm in control of my channel and I can control what, what stays on the comment section and what doesn't so that's what I'm going to be doing um, past tribe members they need to stay completely 100% clear of my tribe and again my YouTube as a whole it is literally just jealousy um, one of them and a couple of them I do know them personally uh, say that we haven't got any good shit at all um, to check back on my uploads that was pretty much nearly 25 days to a month ago just to comment a couple of days ago that we haven't really got any good shit that's just only points to one thing, jealousy, and I don't kick people from the tribe for no reason. Uh, there's only two things that I mainly kick members for, it's inactivity is one of them, and insiding, and stealing, even though inciding kind of ties in with, stealing kind of ties in with insiding, but those are the three main things that I kick people from the tribe from. I wouldn't kick you from the tribe for no reason. Um, so they just need to stay clear of it. Uh, they don't like me. They don't like my channel. Like I said, there's no need to comment and come back on one of my uploads. That's three weeks to four weeks ago. 
and comment a couple days ago that we haven't got any good shit. Number one, you haven't been in the trial for a month anyway. And two, you wasn't saying that when you were in the tribe. So I've just pointed out those facts. I've nailed all of that. I've finished talking about that. I've mentioned what I'm going to do about it as I get really reactive on the comment section. Um, I'm literally just going to enjoy playing ARK and just record it. I'm not going to mention this again. It is just ARK, record, upload and showing you guys what we have been doing. Uh, for all of those that have been supporting my channel, I appreciate it a lot and I just want to say a massive thank you. Uh, the Discord has been growing. I get a lot of you private DMing me, have been asking me where I've been. Um, I'm sorry I haven't responded to those, been really really busy as I've just explained. And I didn't want to say anything or cause give any spoilers to what I've been up to. I wanted to leave it all for this video. This is literally just an update video. So I do apologise, this is going to be a short one. It's roughly going to be about 15 minutes, if that. Uh, but hopefully I can smash out another upload in the next couple of days for you all. Um, that'll be more towards the raiding side of things. Uh, so we can actually show you guys what we can do now. So let's just head back to base and I'll show you what I mean by how busy we have been. Right, so here we are. This is the base of operations and you are probably looking at the stone ceilings and being like 25 days, 3 weeks to, four, to basically a month and you've still got those shitty stone ceilings. Yes, I know, I'll get to that in a minute. So we've got some plant C here with some crops, beer barrels. Has it got any beer in it? No, it hasn't got any beer. So we've got that going. Um, it's one of the things that we actually wanted to get up. Um, and we've got this massive wall. Um, which on the left hand side and the right hand side is powered by two tech jellies. Uh, they cost weekly, uh, roughly to keep up and running. Uh, so we have to make sure we're on top of that constantly as we're not just running on electrics anymore. So we have to keep do pumping out these boss fights. Um, to make sure that what's on the opposite side, let me get to it. Show you guys what I mean. So when we get to the opposite side, we have got this up. Um, so all of these stay up and because these ain't going to run on electrics so we need to make sure this stays up 100%. Yes you're looking at it, it's probably a bit crooked but there was an issue with the snap points. Uh, we spent hours and at least one day out of the whole week just trying to get it to all snap and this was the only way we could get it to snap. So because it looks crooked we have made sure we have um, We've made ourselves safe on that one. So it's all good, that is covered. Other than that now, we are literally just working on the inside defences. We have got the ADV. Um, we're just going to be putting up turret towers and more cliff plats on the inside. So next upload, you will definitely see more defences around the inside. Got tech rexes over here. These ain't mine. Ah, uh, I know who they are. Um, okay, they're good. Got some shrewdons as well. Micro wraps. These ain't mine. And we have managed to get a TP up as well in the base. Every single time I log on and I see these stone ceilings, it really does bug me. I think crab. Um, it does annoy me and I would do something about it. Oh, but at the moment, it's the last of my priority. Um, defences of the inside of the base now is going to be my priority. I can change all of that to to metal at a later date. Um, I'm not going to be worried about stone structures. People say, yeah, you're not big, you've got stone structures, you still got stone ceilings. It don't mean shit. It's more of the loot that we've got inside that we're protecting. Um, so pop all of these down. One of these is a trashy 515, I think. It's okay, but I mean, I wouldn't didn't take it out or anything. Probably just be a sabotage kicker or something like that. It's probably just going to be called Baby Die if it pops 515. So yeah, that is the update of the base. We've been pumping out bosses, raising loads of tames, grinding lots of ammo. And now, next uploads you will 100% see uh, more defences on the inside. Um, still needs a lot of work, the base on the inside, but now we've got the stuff to do it. Um, obviously I just wanted to record this for you guys this morning so you could see exactly what I mean. Um, but the stone ceilings, they're really tight. 
I don't like them at all. Uh, but unfortunately they're going to have to stay. They're going to have to stay until I have covered every single angle that we are protected as much as we can possibly do. And it has meant sleepless nights and staying up all night. And then staying up the next day as well. And that's what it takes on official. This is what official requires. Um, I haven't actually looked at the trial block this morning. Um, I froze up all of these, I know that. Oh, okay. Let's um, see, so yeah, one, mem one, mem <laughs> one member has been kicked for um, inactive again. Oh, we are going to get another member in, so next episode you will see him in as well. Tech works. There's nothing I can really do about inactivity apart from press to kick button. Um, some some members they're just not cut out for official. Um, so unfortunately, it's not that they're a bad guy or anything, but they're just they don't have the time. So if they're inactive, every every member counts on small tribes. You only add up to six people. So when you're getting pulled up on, you you can't be. You need to be focusing on what you're doing, defending. You can't be watching and over. If one member's slowing you down, you know, every man counts. So, I don't... I don't even think I've turned the cookers on for the... I'll turn them on in a minute. So one member in the trial keeps putting raw meat mixed with the cooked meat. I don't know who it is. I'm gonna have to see. I don't know if it matters, but I've heard that when you're offline, if you put raw meat in tech troughs or cooked meat, it's one of the meats in the tech troughs, it lasts longer or whatever, when you're offline. Um, I'm not actually sure which one that is or how accurate it is. Um, in a minute, I am actually going to check the BP vault because the, why there is one simple reason why. Uh, we're planning on doing some raids. Give it a couple, give it a week. And we're planning on doing some raids. Um, where we're only looking for tech bases or... A base that looks like it has a lot of ADV in it. Um, and the reason why is even though we've got the ADV grinded up, um, we just we're, we're sick of farming it. We don't want to farm it anymore. Um, so if we can make a base that's got a lot of ADV, uh, then we can sort of cut back on the farming for it a little bit. And these things over here caught my eye. Um, I was interested in what the stats are like. Um, at the moment they're looking okay. I don't think they're top stat, but I think they're they're good, the Gucci. Right, so I think let's head into the BP vault, see what I can make. Alright, so I found this in the second BP vault that we got. Um, not to brag or to show off or anything, but Ascendant Fabi 240 weapon damage. 240% weapon damage. Let me know in the comment section below if that is decent enough. It is hella expensive. But if we all in the tribe made that, I think we should we we could possibly <laughs> potentially put some good holes and some survivors. Um, I don't know if it's even worth crafting because of how expensive it is. But this is the best one out of the fabricated snipers we've got. Um, I've been looking at the weapon BPs for a while because I can't keep rolling around in these pistols. Um, they were good for when I was going to the island and killing bobs and stuff, but. I need to upgrade the weapons that I got. Uh, it just takes so much. The paste isn't an issue. The metal isn't an issue. Um, it's probably uh, the poly there that's going to be a problem. Um, I'm going to have to find some way of grinding that up. Other than that, we've got Mastercraft, Fabi. I think we've got a Journeyman one as well somewhere. Oh, I think we've got some good pumps that we might have to make. Um, we've got a Riot. What's we'll that up there? We've got a Riot Ascendant Gauntlet. Whoa, okay. That is actually pretty cheap. The dura is high, the arm is okay, and that is actually pretty cheap to make. It's probably decent if we start making some of them. It would have been better if it was the chest, but it's, actually, it's not. So. Compound bow possibility. Oh, they're really expensive as well, though. They're like the fabbies. But yeah, I am looking at other weapons. I'm not so towards the armor, I think we're good on armor BPs. It's more towards the, the weaponry. It's just so expensive. We have been using those blueprints up there for the ADV. So we now got a repi, so it's a lot quicker. Um 
got a flamethrower. I don't know if we've got a decent, like, two overpowered flamethrower. I think we've only got ramshackle the best at most. Okay, this isn't BPs, it's just weapons we've already got and stuff and random hold artifacts and things. Got a beer there. Got some ammo. Yeah, this is just pretty much what we put um, random stuff in. So we'll probably do another boss fight soon, actually. I didn't realise that. We've got tributes and artifacts in here. So we'll probably nail out another boss fight today. Get that element. Um, could potentially record that for the beginning of the next episode. I'm show you how we roll in the boss fights now. Could be pretty interesting. Um, other than that, uh, there's not an awful lot to it. Uh, when we lose our kits, these BPs are in here for when we lose kits. I should really put those back in the vault. Well, I hate BPs being left in smithies and replicators. They, sh to me, they should always be put back in, put back in the vault. It's a lot safer by there, put away. Other than that, um, I think I've done a pretty much a good base tour to show you guys where we're at, and I think I've kept you all updated enough. Um, I don't want 100% bore you, uh, but for those of you that do support my channel, I do again want to say 100% thank you. Um, I appreciate you all. I love you all. I um, hope you're all staying safe during this coronavirus outbreak and taking care of your families. Um, that is the main priority for everyone, um, despite this world problem at the moment. Um, and I hope you all have enjoyed this episode, um, even though it is a short one.